were England's first black player, one of the few playing in the top flight at the time. Mm -hmm. Was the intolerance at the time something you were constantly aware of, or were you able to put it to one side when you were playing? Um, I've got to say that Civil and Lowy, who's sadly not with us now, they were trailblazers as well, because Lowy was the first black under-21 international. And everybody said, was there much value between you two? I said, no, not really. We shared a room in, with England a couple of times, and we never ever discussed it. We talked about cars or stuff like that. He was at Real Madrid at the time, and, and there was talking about what's it like there and everything else. And uh, clearly it was a big thing at the time, and, and you don't dismiss that fact. When I first started, and I watched Match of the Day, the only black face I ever saw was Clyde Best, who's played for West Ham. And, uh, and I made a conscious effort and said, I'd like to be on Match of the Day, and I want to play football, you know? And uh, I was lucky to be at a club that, and a manager who was there at the time, uh, that helped me on that path. What sort of things did you have to contend with, just because of your colour? Um, I remember going to New Newcastle, when they had the great Tudor, McDonald, and that sort of team. Really early on in my career, maybe, I don't know, three games in. And I walked out for the, to have a look at the pitch before and then got dogs abuse. And I went back in the dressing room and I said, Mr. Clough, I um, don't think I'm playing tonight. He says, you're playing, you know. He was great in that respect. He says, you're playing. Um, so I played. It was one of those things you had to get on with. Um, if you didn't, you wouldn't uh, further a career. And that's, that's really fundamentally I want to be. I want to be a footballer. I want to be, play at the top level and try and achieve something. What do you remember that night against Czechoslovakia when you debuted at Wembley? Um, I remember it being, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be played today because uh, half of the pitch was hard, as hard as that, and the other side was soft. So I wore rubbers first half and stood second half. That day you come up the back of Wembley, you don't come from the side as it is now, you come out the back so you hear the roar, get louder and louder and louder as you go up the pitch. And um, I remember getting a great chair coming out. And they say I had an hand in the goal. Well, if hand in the goal is, you play the ball to somebody, he runs 70 yards, he crosses it in and somebody scores, then I'll take it all day long. You won two European Cup winners medals yeah. by the age of 24 on the cluffy. Do you, I didn't know medals? that. Yeah, well, right, yeah, right. If you say so, you've done, <laughs> your, you've done your research, so yeah, fine, I'm happy with that. Have you still got the medals? Oh yes, of course I've got the medals. Right. <laughs> I know exactly where they are, in a garage somewhere. <laughs> to win the league, for me, is the biggest achievement. Now, I'm not taking away from the European Cups, because the European Cups was eight games, not, I don't know how it is now, 19, 20 odd games and the group stages and all the rest of it. But you have to be spot on every game because if you have a bad night, you're out. To win the league is the biggest thing because you, you have to be consistently good throughout a nine month period of a season. You can't have two bad weeks or three bad weeks because you, you don't achieve anything. You have to be consistent as a player and as a football club. So I thought as get, uh, winning the league was uh, my, our biggest, um, biggest achievement, in my view. You spent a few years at Arsenal. And yes. then with Sir Alex Ferguson's first signing at United. Yes, and I think he signed me on the back of uh, me playing for Arsenal against Manchester United and me stand, uh, standing up to my, Norman Whiteside at the time. He, they kicked us from pillar to post. I think we'd gone 18 games undefeated and came to Old Trafford. And <laughs> Norman just kicked everybody that moved. So arriving at United, what were your initial experiences of Sir Alex like? I get the phone call from Brian Robson saying, um, we've got a new manager and he, he wants to sign you. Um, I said, all right, yeah, fine. Well, my contract's up at Arsenal. I'll, I'll tell him I'll meet him. So uh, they arranged to meet in Nottingham, which I I know really well, uh, in this hotel in Nottingham, a uh, certain room in a certain, in this hotel. So I go in, walk in, I'm there on my own, sit down, next thing the door opens. So Alec walks in, he says, pleased to meet you, have you seen the chairman? I went, no, I've been here 10 minutes, I haven't seen anybody. I'll go and find him. Next thing you know, chairman walks in, he said, I'm the chairman, um, Martin Edwards, pleased to meet you, says, have you seen the manager? Says, he's just been in two seconds ago. It was like it was like a revolving door. And finally we all got together and we sat down and talked it through and uh, we come to a deal. So my first impressions in to answer the question was, uh, what, a, what's the sort of club I'm, <laughs> I'm doing here? They must have come in the same car. So what happened in between? One's coming in, one's going out, is uh, strange. Um, you know, you did finish 11th the year before and they finished second in your first season. Yeah. Were there signs already in that first season that you really thought 
this club is starting to get back to where it used to be. He, he brought the likes of me and other people at that time to get back to the level it was. The, when we finished second that year, we, uh, we couldn't play uh, as the Manchester United way because the pitch was so bad. Mm. So we, what we used to do is knock it in the corners and Mark Hughes used to elbow people and boot people and we'd get up the pitch that way and, and we'd end up winning games. Uh, wasn't pretty at times because the pitch wasn't the best, you know. The drainage wasn't good so he got all that sorted. Um, so it was hard work that year um, but we achieved what we achieved and uh, and it gave us a springboard to say, well, we finished runners up that year, we can do a bit better the year after. Yeah. And we had a lot of young lads coming in, like the Giggses, and, which is all history now, and Skulls and all these people. Uh, but we had a few years where we had, people thought the lads, the young lads that were there at the time were going to be as good as these ones, but it turned out to be not the case for whatever reason. I remember Giggsy coming and playing, in, uh, first team against the reserves, and he came in and uh, he nutmegged me and I went, you just don't do that again. <laughs> we, myself and Brian Robson went to see the youth team play at Preston one night. And that night he went, that boy's going to be a superstar. He just, he just knew it. He came from school. He was, I don't know whatever age he was. He must have been 15 playing in the youth team in the youth cup game. He, he was going to be a superstar. And then he played, then say, I don't know, say six months later, first team, he comes out of school, comes and plays for the reserves in this little knockabout uh, at the cliff. And nutmegs me, and I go, oh, you're not, you want to make a career? You ain't going to be doing that again. Um, so we knew that the, the undercurrent, more so gigs in, he took the line like more than anybody. But I always remember the physio, which uh, who was there at the time, saying, little ginger lads are going to be a player. And Scalzi. And we always thought, we always, I saw Giggsy, and presumably Scalzi played that night as well. But uh, Giggsy stood out for me. But uh, the physio kept saying, hey, who's talking about Giggsy? I think. The little ginger lad's going to be a decent player. Giggs. He may be better than the other than Giggsy. He went, uh, we would say, you, well, you know, you're a physiotherapist. What was the most difficult thing to come to terms with when, after your playing career ended? I, I was fortunate that um, I was offered a contract at Sheffield Wednesday, um, but I get a call from a, a chairman called John Dennis at Barnsley Football Club, and he says, I'd like you to come and be the player manager at uh, Barnsley Football Club. I went, um, I don't know if I'm f ready to be a manager. I'm, I, I had no inclination of being a manager. But I had to think about it and go, hmm, why not? We'll give it a go. And Danny Wilson, he was, he was, we were roommates there. And I said, do you fancy coming? We, we, you, you play and I'll play and we'll get one of the coaches that's at the football club, which is a lad called Eric Winstanley, to, to do the talking on, on a match day. Um, what do you think? He says, yeah, I quite fancy that, you know. So we did it. Um, and after a while, they want to hear the sound of the manager. I was playing, Danny was playing, um, doing okay. Changed the system because they used to play three at the back. We wanted to play a back four. So it took a while to get used to all that. And then, uh, but at half time, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> Danny'd be like, oh. can't talk, can't talk. He'd be, t Alec, uh, Eric would be talking, trying to see what he's saying. He should be doing this and doing that and the other. And the thing you've got to say, boss, and I go, <laughs> <laughs> trying to recover to make sure I can play the second half. <laughs> so that wasn't good. So end up that I end up stopping playing, although I could kept on playing because they wanted to hear the manager's voice. Mm. Um, and I think it was the best thing in the end. Um, so to stop completely. That was hard, but your body tells you when it's time to. And I was like, I was like 38, uh, because I ended up going to Middlesbrough and be, still being the oldest player, even to this day, 39 I was. I had to play four games in the uh, promotion year because there was illness and uh, there was flu about. So this, uh, I, was, I had a player's contract, but I, although I was assistant manager, and I played four games at the end. Uh, so I am. Um, the oldest player to play. So 39 is a great innings. When you started at 17, 39 is a fantastic innings. And, uh, uh, and it, with it being ended at Middlesbrough in their promotion year, what a better way to go on.